Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So today I thought I would showcase a great British fountain pen company and that company is Anoto. Anoto was a pen name and a brand for Thomas de la Rue and Company Limited. The name Anoto has no special meaning and was chosen because it was easily to remember, pronounce and sounded the same in every language. De La Rue and Company were a company mostly in the business of printing banknotes from 1860 and UK postage stamps from 1865. Due to economic changes and uncertainty, De La Rue wasn't convinced that they could hold on to and retain the UK stamp printing contract and decided to seek additional business and market areas that they could get into. In 1905, the Anoto fountain pen was born. Three specific qualities of essentially Britishness, manufacturing, ingenuity and global marketing success. A mechanical engineer and inventor by the name of George Sweetser had invented and patented a self-filling fountain pen. And the patent was subsequently purchased and become the Anoto plunger filling system, which is still found in some of the pens to this very day. The Anoto pens were an immediate success in the UK and internationally, and one of the very few 100% British made pens prior to World War I. They were so successful that the pens were marketed as Anoto the Pen. The Anoto Valveless was introduced in 1915, the Anoto Pencil in 1921, and the Anoto Safety Receder and Anoto metal cased pencils in 1922, with the first Anoto lever filler fountain pen in 1923. The Anoto Magna was issued in 1937, and De La Rue and Company Limited continued manufacturing Anoto pens until 1958, when production unfortunately was ceased. It wasn't until some 46 years later that James Bodie relaunched the Anoto Pen Company on the London Stock Exchange in the UK and revitalised and reignited the past of Anoto and brought Anoto into the 21st century in 2005. Anoto is now headquartered at Colney Hall in Norwich in the UK. It's a stunning 18th century mansion since 2005, Anoto have been making a lot of new fountain pens and rollable pens, and here you can see a selection of the pens available. Here is the Doctor's Pen and the Doctor's Pen Classic, along with the Aviator Flying Doctor Sterling Silver Pen. And here you can see some of the Charles Dickens range of pens, the Chuzzlewit, the Copperfield, the Pickwick and the Nickleby. And here you can see some of the Oxford range of pens. And these include the Oxford Blue and Gold Pinstripe, the Oxford Blue Magna Classic, the Oxford Blue XL, and the Magna Plunger Filler. And onto some of the more higher end versions of pens that Anoto produce. You have the Zoo Zemo collection. And this comes with the silver pen the pinstripe, the vitreous enamel and the rosetta stone. And here you can see the British Museum acrylic, the Shakespeare sterling silver portrait, the Shakespeare sterling silver and the Shakespeare vermeil. And then here you can also see some of the other authors, the Shakespeare black and gold pinstripe, the Jane Austen in the fountain pen and a rollable pen. Also Horatio Nelson Sterling Silver Fountain Pen and Emma Hamilton Sterling Fountain Pen and then the two as a set. And here you can see some of the Magna Classic with black and silver fittings, the chased material and the blue and gold fittings. And here you can see the Magna Classic tortoiseshell, the green pearl, 
and the Gold Pearl. I thought I would also show some of the video footage that I've taken at some of the more recent UK pen shows in 2018 and 2019 at the Enoto exhibition tables. And here you can see some of the lovely Enoto pens that they have on display at most of the UK pen shows. You can see here you have the magnets in various different colours. Some Anoto ink and desk stands. And here we're at the London Pen Show. And you can see some of those Shakespeare lovely pens. Some stunning Vermeil pens. And the King's College pens there. Which are absolutely stunning. And here you can see the King's College pen up close. And this is a pen that I will have for review on my channel in the coming week so stay tuned for this unboxing and review Anoto like many of the older pen companies from around the world that are still in existence today still use a lot of very old but simple machinery to create their pens here you can see the pulley dead weight machinery where finials are embossed for the pens along with other parts being produced The cutting of bands for the Anoto pen caps. The polishing of the sterling silver pens and also the vermils. It's actually quite remarkable that in today's modern manufacturing processes that older machinery still does have a place and can still make some very stunning pens. Anoto put a lot of work into the creation and manufacturing of their Anoto pens. A lot of manual labour helps create some stunning intricate details of the pens that you see from Anoto today. Thanks for watching this video. I will soon have a number of Anoto pens to unbox and review on this channel. So please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.